What's up? <sighs> Alright, so first things first. You don't know anything about this because I haven't been recording lately and also because it's my life and you don't care. But my girlfriend went to Japan two weeks ago and she's been having a good time and I've been here alone. Except for Cadence who came back, so that's nice. Came back from Alabama, my friend who lives in Alabama, and visits for the summer, that is, in case you don't remember, which you probably don't, because, again, my life, you don't care. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just telling you that because I should be excited to be playing again, but I'm not because I was, my girlfriend was supposed to get back last night, she didn't, and it got shifted to 1 o'clock today, and this morning she told me that it was actually going to be closer to 3 but given the time that she actually hit the road, I won't be surprised if it's closer to five. So, I'm just kind of spiraling deeper and deeper into depressed frustration at having to keep waiting to see her, but that's... yeah. So, if I seem less than enthused to be playing again, that's why. So, I finally did all of my editing and such for uh, the Spider-Man, for The Amazing Spider-Man 2, because I recorded that all in one sitting, and I finally got around to actually putting the episodes up. And I also put up all the episodes that I did for this game, and what the... Okay, that is some weird Jumanji shit going on with the ground underneath the stairs. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, anyway. So yeah, I have not recorded in a long time because I've been so backed up on it. I didn't want to keep making more recordings and more work for myself, so I haven't played or recorded anything in a long time. But uh, yeah, so that's that situation. But... Oh, what? Oh, oh boy. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Well, that was fast. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? <laughs> no, he does not. You'll come with us. All right, then. Well, so much for what I was just about to start talking about. Because, <laughs> gosh, I have a lot to talk about. The HMS Oxenford Tretagor. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Oh, come on. Follow me. I'm really tired of having to get rid of my weapons. The ship was fun. Well, crap, didn't mean to cut him off. But, before anything else happens... Update... Century... Central... Whatever. Good gosh. Everything has been updated. I haven't even looked at everything. It's an alternative quick access menu control. What does that even mean? Invert, invert, sensitivity. Um, let's, oh wow, that's some fine tuning. Let me check how it actually feels before I start messing with that, because generally I like sensitivity to be as high as possible, well, as high as I can stand, as high as I can still control, because it lets you look around faster, you know. Of the scheme that hasn't changed. Gameplay. All of this stuff, dude. So much stuff. So I've just gotta. I guess I should have looked at this off camera, but I figured maybe you'd be interested in seeing it. So, still got that off. Manual sword drawing and sheathing. I think that started as on, and that's why I like couldn't fight things barehanded, because you know, he'd automatically draw his sword. Or if you were fighting with your steel sword against a monster, he'd automatically switch to his silver. As cool as that is, sometimes that's not what you want to do, you know? Witcher sense uh, uh, fisheye effect. I don't know if they heard people were being bothered by that or what, but you can apparently turn that on and off now. And I don't remember turning it off. But yeah, that's whenever you enter Witcher, Witcher senses, the edges of the screen get kind of blurry, because, you know, it's like you're focusing... And I think I like the effect, so I'll leave it on. Movement response is the same as it was before. Automatic camera centering. This is the thing that I've been complaining about all the time with uh, when you're riding your horse and the camera automatically centers behind you when you're trying to look around. They, I guess they, other people must have been complaining about that because, or they just figured 
on their own to fix it, but you can now turn that on and off. And I have played with it a little bit, found out that yes, it lets you move around nicely. The problem is this isn't Red Dead Redemption where you can take your thumb off of the gallop button and it won't stop your gallop. In this game it does, so if you want to move the camera you have to take your thumb off the gallop button, which gets a little, you know, can interrupt your movement. But I'll probably be able to work around it, so we'll just see how it goes. You can choose how often you want it to autosave. I think I'll stick with 10 minutes. Uh, enemy upscaling, I still don't know what that is, so we'll see. Difficulty level, obviously. Gwent difficulty level. If I ever decide I want to play Gwent again, this might come in handy. <laughs> But, uh, that's that. I haven't looked at display yet. Anything new? HUD configuration. Huh. Small action log. What is that? Which is on map. A lot of this, I think I'll just have to... NPC chatter. Wait, you can turn that off? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna have to look at... Look at all of this on my own time, because I'm not gonna make you... We scale. Oh, it's just that. I knew that. Post-processing? Motion blur, blur. Okay, I'm, I've got a lot of research I need to do, obviously, into all this stuff. And again, I won't make you sit through that. But not only are there new settings and menu options, but... With donations from noble women. Oh, I can't look at my... Ah, oh, dang it. All right. Well, the entire like menu and inventory thing has been overhauled, but I'll save that until I'm able to look at my inventory. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. If you say so. Your kind spreads disease, defeatism and desertion. My kind actually doesn't catch disease at all, so... I think. Could be wrong. <laughs> Still with the chess, huh? Still listening for that heartbeat? There you are. Need something from me, your majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. Well. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me, alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends. Reconvene the lodge. Uh, Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Uh, Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Think about it. Mm, I guess I'm sure I'm not going to get out of it, but hell, points for trying. Philip is using magic. You'd be better off sending mages after her. <laughs> I cannot count on their aid. We parted ways after the events at Loch Muin. And everything ways. after. You gathered them in one place, then gave the order to murder them. You ignore the context. They'd assembled to revive the Conclave. The very same they had once dismantled. I was open to the prospect. The other rule is likewise. Until a certain witcher revealed that the lodge was behind the regicides. The mages proved to be traitors. While the witcher proved himself skilled at tracking traitors down. Now go to the mountains and bring me Philippa Eilhart. <coughs> well, gee. Things just got real pretty quick. Sweet! 
Whoops. Let's see. Oh. New information from him? Uh, can I... I eh, guess it's not... Not the... Don't need to scroll it. Philippa Eilhart. Philippa Eilhart, or Philippa Eilhart, as Radovid says, one time advisor to King Visimir II, called the Just, member of the Council of Mages and later founder of the Lodge of Sorceresses, had played a momentous part in the history of the world as well as in Geralt's life. There could be no denying her talent, yet neither could one claim she did not also at times demonstrate sickly ambition. Very trustworthy reports indicated she had had a hand in King Visimir II's death, and as a member of the Lodge, she was implicated in the murder of two other monarchs as well, Demovind of Idarn and Foltest of Tamaria. Yep. For this reason, the one-time jewel of the court at Tretagor was now a wanted woman, the quarry of special forces from the North and Nilfgaard alike. Vizimir's son and successor, Radovid V, oh, so he's the son of Vizimir, alright, good to know, was particularly eager to capture her. During their last encounter at Loch Muin, he had had Philippa's eyes gouged out, yet she had fled, and he wanted nothing more than to stick the head of Tretigor's jewel on a spike above the city's gates. Alright. Radovid, here we go. It did not take long for King Radovid of Redania to prove himself a hard and ruthless ruler, one fully deserving to be styled the Stern, to put it lightly. His father, King Visimir, was murdered when Radovid was quite young, and his mother, Hedwig of Melior, and a regency council ruled in his stead. Oh, his mother ruled in his stead. Young Radovid soon seized power in his own right, however, and wrought vengeance on those who had treated him with disrespect. He took to forcing all his potential political opponents to swear allegiance or face death. He waged war not only against Nilfgaard, but also against mages, whom he saw as the root of all evil. Radovid also made every effort to gain control over the free city of Novigrad, whose fleet and treasury could tip the scales of the ongoing conflict in his favor. Geralt's meeting with Radovid confirmed the rumors circulating about the king's mental state. The Redanian monarch was a dangerous madman trapped in his own world of disturbing visions. This did not make him one jot less intelligent or cunning, however. That's, I've always found that weird how people who are crazy can still be so smart, you know? Despite his mental afflictions, the young king was manipulating his opponents like a highly skilled puppet master. Radovid burned with a particularly intense hostility, first kindled in his early childhood, for the sorceress Philippa Eilhart. Rumors spoke of a special torture regimen he had prepared just for her. And while the two dozen points they mentioned were surely an exaggeration, they accurately conveyed the general scale of his hatred. And looks like now we have an entry on Vernon Roach. Don't know if I missed it before or if it's just now here, but... As commander of Temerian Special Forces, an elite squadron known also as the Blue Stripes, Vernon Roach had been one of King Foltis's most trusted subordinates. <clears throat> time and time again, Roach had proved himself loyal, effective, and a thorough professional. Few could match his skill at subduing revolts, fighting off Nilfgaardians, or snuffing out bands of Scoia'tael. At the start of our story, however, he had lost his king, his men, and his homeland, and so had resorted to waging a guerrilla war against the overwhelming occupying forces. In this war of assassinations, ambushes, and night raids, Roche de uh, depended on Redanian help, though it was clear he took no pleasure from working with Radovid. <coughs> Goodness. So much intrigue. Oh, right, leveled up. Now yeah, let's wait to get my stuff back. When one of your quests is updated, a notification will appear on the left side of the screen. If you are not currently tracking the updated quest, you blah blah blah. Reading is most wanted. Be choked to death on three pounds of steel. Uh, where's the... Here we go. Your arms. Thanks. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. All right. <laughs> that was a little happy trot. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Pardon me. Which Geralt of Rivia? <laughs> a merchant from Lyria. 
Yeah, what do you want? I have a message for you. Hang on. Who from? Read it. You'll know. Okay, then. Perfumed letter. Oh, is that from, uh, from Yennefer? Cool. <laughs> 